What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another Legacy Cube draft. This thing fired immediately. I feel like Grim Monolith is pretty powerful. We just drafted a Gaia's Cradle, so I'm pretty sure I just want to go with this Grim Monolith. Spawn of Mayhem is a cool card. I want to take the Grim Monolith. Oh, Recurring Nightmare? That's nice to build around. That is an okay build around. Let's take that. A second pick Recurring Nightmare seems pretty strong. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't think anything else is even remotely close. So now our goal is to recurring nightmare things. And we can take Thank that Jace if it comes back. That'd be pretty sweet. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you. Ancient Tomb. That's a turn one Grim Model, if you ask me. Woodfall Primus is nice not to cast, but to discard. But also to cast. We have Grim Grimolith. Uh nothing in this pack is, is exciting. I haven't I've actually played I played with the um I played with Lux Venerator Loxodon once. It was fine when I had it, but my opponent did have uh an Emrakul that they threw the breach, so they ended up killing a bunch of my guys, so that was fun. I'm going to take this Woodfall Primus, I think. We already have Grim Monolith, and uh, I'm not so sure if Ancient Tomb is really what we're looking for. Which is weird. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Packride is a nice discard outlet. Hmm. Uh, I do play some board games. I like board games. I just don't have a lot of... Uh, it's hard to get get enough people together to play them. I'm going to take Packride. Packride also can just win on the spot as well. Oh, look. A Crater Hoof. And a Kozilek. Hmm. Well... That's why your hair is of one color and your beard is of another. Well, my hair is like also gray. I mean, it's just it's just graying hair. That's a weird. That's a funny question, though. It's got to be Crater Hoof, right? I mean, if it comes down to Crater Hoof or Cosmic, like I'm taking the Crater Hoof. Hmm. Oh, buried alive. That is a way to get creatures in the graveyard, for sure. Let's take that guy. Hornet Queen, Dread Return, Dread Return also not that bad. Um, hmm. I think we have enough big fat green idiots. Let's take a Dread Return. What's your thoughts on the new walkers? Which one? <laughs> what's your uh, what's your thoughts on the on thirty on the thirty six new planeswalkers? 
Uh, well, they're varied. They are varied. Uh, interesting. Nothing in this pack is... This is a pretty bad pack. I don't like Thalia. Thalia seems pretty bad against for all our other cards. I don't foresee us playing that. Where I could see us playing Seagate Oracle or like an Edric or like a Voice of Resurgence. I'm going to take just Seagate Oracle. Ooh, Kira. I really like Kira in these like reanimate decks because you get to like you get to protect your creatures. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Kira. I think the Kira is sweet. Gravecrawler kind of sucks. Master could be good. Vampire Knight. Oh, abrupt decay. Let's take an abrupt decay. It seems good. Well, that's fascinating. Brain Maggot, you're okay. Kalidus is okay. Misty Rainforest is probably pretty good. I do like a Sylvan Carry added here, too. Fatal Push. Hmm. Might be Misty. I could see taking a Misty and just, like, trying to play the... Could just be Fatal Push, too. Uh, we're definitely not a pod deck. Like, we have two 8-drops, a f one 4-drop, and then one 2-drop. Like, we're not really potting into anything here. I'm going to take Fatal Push. I think I'd rather just have, like, a Fatal Push type card. I don't think we're also... I, I'm not sure what we're doing with the green here. Entomb seems good. Entomb is what we want to be doing. We just have to hope we can get, like, more reanimate cards and more creatures to reanimate. Yeah, we're going to take the Entomb for sure. Animate dead. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Also, if Wretched Confluence or Assassin's Trophy or Plow Under come back, I'll be more than grateful. Yeah, Animate dead seems sweet here. Oh, I like an Acidic Slime. I like a Vindicate and an Ultimate Price as well. Hmm... Might just be Aesthetic Slime. Yeah, Wretched Confluence is great. Um, it could just also be Hypnotic Spectre. I think Hypnotic Spectre is also pretty sweet. Yeah, I think I'd rather go with Hypnotic Spectre here. Mm, Midnight Reaper. I'm a Midnight Reaper. It's probably the only card in this pack we'll actually play. Remy Up Excavator is probably not great here. Recurring Slime is fine. Yeah, this guy's just fine.
I think this deck actually looks pretty sweet. We have two two big fatties to, to reanimate right now. I mean, obviously, Crater Hoof is not the best because you obviously want a board full of creatures, but... Natural order? Ugh. Sacrificing a green creature is pretty bad, and we have, like, no green creatures until Master of the Wild Hunt, but... We also want, to want more things that we can recurring Nightmare here as well. Like, it's nice to recurring Nightmare and Midnight Reaper, because then you just get to draw a card, too. I think it's actually Murderous Cut. I don't foresee us natural ordering in this deck. Marsh Flats is nice, especially if we want to splash a white card. I don't foresee Dread Wanderer being the pick. And we have Shambling Vent as well, so we also got another pack. Phyrexian Arena, I like. Magister of Earth is a pretty sweet reanimation target. You just get to wipe the board. And it's easier to cast than anything else here. Yeah, that seems fine. A copter could have been good. I just don't foresee us having a ton of creatures to crew a copter at the moment. I also think we're fine on this card. Like, we have Pack Rat, we have Recurring Nightmare, or not Recurring Nightmare, uh, Buried Alive and Entomb. We have th ways to get things into the graveyard that aren't discard. Seraph seems pretty good here. This is also a great target for... Um, this is a great recurring nightmare target as well. Oh, the Plow Under came back? So did the Wretched Confluence? Oh, we're for sure taking Wretched Confluence here. We're not really green, no. We're green for these guys, but... That's pretty much it. The Vindicate came back. Wow, that's gas. Okay, so. All right, so we're just white, black, reanimator, and I feel pretty okay with it. Wow, this is a lot of, a lot of red cards here. Oh, Phyrexian Obliterator? Is this a Phyrexian Obliterator deck? This might be a Phyrexian Obliterator deck. Just hard cast this, dude. We have no way to splash for Abrupt Decay thus far. Uh, Hero's Downfall. I'm a big fan of Hero's Downfall. But I think it's just I think we're just Phyrexian Obliteratoring here. Card is super strong. Isareth, uh, read the bones. Oh, I have not seen a Gary that we've passed. I would have definitely made mention of a Gary. I don't mind Isareth. I do want more creatures. Yeah, Isareth is fine, actually. Do you want read the bones? We have Wretched Confluence. Yeah, I actually like read the bones a little bit better. Emrakul, that's a creature. Sword Supply Shares is great. Chainers, either something in this something in this pack is going to table, which is super nice. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Emrakul here. I'm 
of these cards are great. I do like I do like Never Return because Ophiomancer also nice with Recurring Nightmare. I like actually Ophiomancer seems pretty good. Yeah, let's let's say Ophiomancer. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, we have no way to put this into play from the graveyard. There is a reanimate, and there's a chupacabra as well, which I really like. Hmm. We have no way to actually cast this, unfortunately. Yeah, I actually think it's chupacabra. Right now, we have uh, animate dead and recurring nightmare and dread return. So I don't think we're I don't think we need a fourth way to reanimate things. I think I'd rather just have a removal spell that's also recurring. Oh, Aleshnorn? Yes. Yes. All we need is a Gristlebrand, but I don't think we're getting one anymore. We have two packs left, so... Yeah, we're just taking Aleshnorn here. Ooh, Vraska's nice. We do not have... A way to play the green though unfortunately yeah we're just gonna be playing a light a light white splash which is okay um i like bloodline keeper mind shatter also not bad with grim monolith We have 14 creatures. I think we're just gonna take the mind shatter. I do like having a I like having a damnation though. We'll take mind shatter. And this is like the last pack, huh? <laughs> I don't mind reanimating Niv Mizzet. That's pretty funny. I don't think we're gonna be playing Dark Confidant. Not not in this deck. Jesus. Murderous Redcap, you're kinda like a uh you're kind of like a chupacabra. We could also take the Davidson or the Woodland Cemetery to just be able to play like Abrupt Decay, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. It's probably just Red Cap, I guess. Or yeah, we'll just take Day of Judgment to have to have a Day of Judgment. Isareth came back. That's pretty sweet. And almost every card in this pack came back, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like Chainer's Edict here. The Never Return came back. Okay. The Nickel Bolas came back. That's pretty nuts. We don't have a way to return a permanent to the... I wish Obzidat's Aid was in the queue. Man, I play Obzidat's Aid for sure. I'm going to take the Crater Hoof out. I don't think it's great here. Two other cuts, huh? Well, I mean, we could just cast Magister and, and Aleshnorn. We have Grim Monolith. I don't think these are necessarily uh, reanimate targets specifically, exclusively reanimate targets. One more cut. Um, might be Brain Maggot. I can see cutting Brain Maggot. Um, yeah, I can see 210. Oh, no forests. Get out of here. 14, 15, 17, 18, no. 13, 14, 16, yeah, that seems fine. Four white sources for three white cards. That seems fine. 
All right, let's see. Uh, is never return better than anything else we have? I don't think so. Maybe. What cards are there that return a Planeswalker or a creature from the graveyard to play? I know there's Obsidat's Aid, but that's the only one I can think of. I will keep. So this guy's kind of awkward, but... Oh, Eldest Reborn is nice. That's a good one. Hmm. That's obnoxious. Well, we're going to definitely... Oh, we can actually... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We could end of turn in Tomb and then Dread return it. That seems pretty okay. Better than probably Midnight Reaper here. I mean, I wish they played a creature, but... It's going to be a Garrick. Yep, never not a Garrick. Oh, I really wish Woodfall Primus was still in the in the deck right now. Do 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 do. All right, let's get something good. Do we just want Emrakul here? Probably. I mean, protection from sorceries probably or instance probably makes it the uh, the most resilient. And if they don't deal with it in two turns, it's pretty good. I think they're trying to figure out how to deal with it, which is nice. That works out well for us. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. <laughs> All right. I guess Emrakul just wins. Seems like a 13-13 flyer is pretty good. Hmm. Did not expect that. But here we are. Uh, definitely bringing in Never Return. Take out. I mean, this should be good. Chainer's Edict should be good. I'll just play it like this. I'm fine with 41. Okay. Woodfall Primus again. <laughs> I mean, we're still going to keep the hand. If we mulligan it, let's say we don't have this in hand, right? Is this a. a would we keep this six? And the answer is yes. Is this six going to be better than. Probably a, a, a mulliganing this and having another six? Probably. Ooh. 
once again, the tentacle monster brings another victory. That is correct. I like using Fatal Push on the Freebooter instead of uh, Chainer's Edict because Chainer's Edict can take out larger creatures, so. Take a gander. Not a land? Yikes. Well. I don't like it, but... Did they, did they not, did they not get lands? Did they actually accidentally not get lands? Because they have three cards and no lands were revealed. Oh boy, that's rough. Well, we're not in great shape here by ourselves, so. Actually, we're fine. I mean, I think we're actually doing pretty well. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is actually working out decently. Surprisingly enough, uh, we're doing all right, I guess. <clears throat> oh, what does he say? What's the wording when it dies? Oh, it's because when it dies, because it did not die. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I'm going to get another swamp because we have Obliterator in hand. That makes sense. They get no land, so they basically just got to draw a card. This seems hard to deal with. Uh, I definitely don't dye my hair. I have actually never dyed my hair. If I dyed my hair, I'd just dye my beard, too. That's so much work. I'm just going to put a Hypnotic Spectre on the board. This is still lethal, so... And it kind of kind of prices them out of ever using Ancient Tomb again. All right. Well, this match was interesting, and uh, surprised it went the way it did. But <clears throat> sometimes you just do it. Sometimes you just gotta get it done. You should die it. All right. Well, that's something right there. Tears, what's going on, buddy? I dyed my hair blonde because it looked like Eminem. I was so cool on a slave to trends. <laughs> I will play first. Oh, I see. I will keep this hand. We're going to Woodfall Primus and then reanimate it next turn. How's that sound? How's that sound, y'all? Bjorn, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. This hand is gas.
Oh, I see. Well, it's worse now. They have to have turn one duress, like we have in two ancient. Whatever. I'm going to get the Woodfall premise out of the deck because I don't want to draw it. That's so stupid. Like, what are the odds? Come on. I just had White Castle Impossible Sliders. How were they, buddy? That sounds amazing. Oh, you took the anime dead. What a surprise. All right. Well, we need lands and creatures here. Yeah, that's just the worst. Direct. Like, of course, of course, the uh, I, I just get paired against the uh, the de the have the deck the black deck that happens to have a duress. And okay, we're getting we're getting there. Come on, two or three drop or a chainer's edict. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? I don't want any of these creatures. I guess we'll just get an Aleshnorn um, and a Seraph in the graveyard. I mean, I don't, I don't know what Oma... I, I mean, there's no reason for an Omai when you have seven power and I have nothing on board, so... They were so good, I had, like, five. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Unfortunately, we don't get the token, so we actually just have to do this now, right? I really want to wait, but... I guess we get a 1-1, one, one, we can block, and then sack. Actually, I think we can do this. I think... What do you do on the backside? Return a non-legendary creature. You can't do that. We'll discard. Yeah, this is actually fine. <clears throat> Believe in the heart of the cards. I will 100% block this Phyrexian Obliterator and uh, what are we taking? Three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one here. That's pretty brutal. How did we take one, two, three, four? Oh, because it's never mind. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual moron. Okay, well that was fun. Well, kind of want this in here. Maybe. I thought it was a four-four for some reason. I wasn't thinking it was a five-five. Correct, an actual moron. <clears throat> I mean, if we just blocked the Liliana, it'd be much better, I guess. Yep, Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus has been in the opening hand three out of four games. That's cool. That seems totally normal. Sure. Put that on the bottom. <clears throat> Always get Primus because I don't want to draw it. Animate dead. It was the same murderous cut we just scribed to the bottom. Oh, God, you're such trash, Magic Online. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Oh, Lord. Sure. Just 
Joke's on you. I don't ever draw more than two or three lands. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that is on white source. Black source again, okay. Man, murderous cut would be real good here. It would let us attack into them. They'd have to discard a card at random, but instead, they were able to duress us. Mono saw my comment, yeah. Okay, well. Okay, that was, I'm like, suspicious, but all right. Hmm, yes. Hmm, yes. I see. <clears throat> Okie dokie. All right, Vindicate's gone now. I'm getting them all. It's like Pokemon over here. Seems good. Oh, now I get to discard my Emrakul, too. <clears throat> Fun times in the city. Draws are pretty good. Vindicated, I am lying, I am right No, I knew it all along <clears throat> That's not going to do it So this block's here, they take 11 No, they take 10 and gain 2, so they take 8 Let's see what you want to get. Let's see what you want to get rid of. Top decks feel good when you were doing them. That is correct. I mean, we just have to get rid of this guy. I could care less about it, so. I'm not going to not attack because they have Nighthawk. I think the new Ashiok is going to be good. I haven't seen the new Ashiok. Well, what does Slaughter Pack do here? It's pretty terrible. No one has. Well, how would I know that then? Keep blocking with them rats. <clears throat> Is this a triple block? Do I get the triple block? Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, we should have put the rat. Oh, we're so bad at this. Oh, we could have killed them all. God, I'm so bad. I forgot the rat would... Oh, I was so stupid. God dang it. Oh, man. I'm kicking myself. I'm kicking myself. It's got a Leshnorn, Magister, and Seraph. Three cards we can't actually cast. It's so stupid. I could have just killed this guy. Wonderful. Go for the throat into Phyrexian Obliterator. Solid top decks. Wow, I, I thought this game was over once we had Emrakul into uh, Woodfall Primus, and then our opponent just, just kills it. <clears throat> 
And then if this guy wasn't in play, our trainer's edict would actually for yeah, we'd actually be in, we'd actually that would be utterly insane. I can't believe we threw. Oh my god, I'm so. Ugh. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. We just have to order them correctly and let everything, all three of them die. I lose the magic all the time and I'm only moderately depressed and angry all the time. Yeah, well. That's no good. Well, our hand is pretty good. <clears throat> well, that is that's cool. I was hoping you as a green deck you would have non artifact. Oh, that's fantastic. Just give me all the give me all the shit to draw. This is wonderful. They play a non creature ramp spell when we have Chainer's Edict and Fatal Push, and then we get to draw Woodfall Primus. That's just We could skip a land drop and discard. <clears throat> That's actually... Yeah, but now we don't get the discard. Like, I really want to deal with this guy, so... Oh, now we're just playing Kalidus. We'll take whatever... Whatever sass they give us. And then we can... <clears throat> Chainer's Edict. So here's what's going to happen. We are going to go... I'm going to assume you're going to sack this guy, right? No. You gave me back... Interesting. this real life i can't actually tell if this is really happening this is like a fucking joke <laughs> it's like actually unbelievable new counter spell factor fiction sure this is unreal <laughs> <laughs> look, at this, look at this hand, dude. Oh, God. So what did they take? They took Snap. Garrick. Do I have to write it down? No, you're going to show me, right? Oh, they just packed this? Yeah, sure. Just get the fuck out of here. This is ridiculous.
Wow, treachery, huh? That's a good card. Scrappy Scrounge is good versus Geist? Wow. That doesn't seem accurate, but alright. The only thing this deck needs, I think, is more ways to put creatures in the, in the graveyard. Like, we need more discard outlets, like Charter Course or <clears throat> Una's Prowler. Liliana of the Veil, which we have not seen. I don't think I've seen Liliana. Eh, I probably have. It was in, like, 20 drafts. You got it. Give me a way to target that idiot. Okay, that'll work. You have a Maya Elder, sure. I'm gonna play by Garrick Wild Speaker. Why do you have multiple answers for a Hypnotic Spectre? I don't understand it. Like, you play a thing, I have zero answers for it, but I play a thing and you just, you know, answers McGee over here. <laughs> this is where they go land, treachery, or obliterator. There's the land. That was oh, Geist of Saint Traft. I don't understand that, but all right. Okay, that was this is all very fascinating. That was a weird. <clears throat> all right, let's check this out real quick. Karn the Great Creator, four mana for a five loyalty planeswalker. It is a rare, so two abilities. Activated abilities or artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated, so that's interesting. Uh, plus one until your next turn up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an like artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its critical mana cost, so you can turn your Icy Manipulator into a 4-4 four, four until the next turn. Uh, ne negative two, you may choose an artifact card you own from outside the game or an exile, reveal that card and put it into your hand. Interesting. So it's like an artifact tutor. Uh, how's that going to work for best of one? Best of one, you still get to utilize. You still get a sideboard of 15 cards. <clears throat> oh, so Treachery is just always in the... 
You're just always in the five, huh? Is this a main phase? Interesting. I don't think they have a fifth land. But we'll see. I mean, this doesn't have, this doesn't strike me as power creep. It's a four mana planeswalker that has two abilities. Like, that's not really, no, oh, they did have, they did have the land. One, two, one, two, three. Hmm. So we can, we can actually play pack rat. Attack with for seven put them to six and then next turn discard emrakul and dread returns so we have four five six seven so we can go discard emrakul dread return i mean they're gonna steal this guy and we want it tapped so that's fine <clears throat> yep. So we now have Sphinx's Rev and two other random cards. I like that better actually now that we have oh that's actually insane <clears throat> that was pretty sweet I like your Sublime Archangel, bro. Just kidding. I don't. I think it's stupid. Okay, so you have one card. It's the Sphinx's Rev. Uh, aren't you dead here? Like you can't, you literally just can't block this. So I don't know how you're. Hmm. What's the worst thing you guys think of for premium level event? Mine was Turbo Humans. It was bad at everything except beating Cobblade. Um, <clears throat> I actually don't know the, the worst deck I've ever taken to an event. That's a good question. The funny thing is, I feel like we have enough removal. We have Vindicate. We have... Oh, I like Never Return over, like... I don't know, something. Actually, over nothing. Maybe we just play the 41. Man, I really wish we could just play this Nickel Bolas. I'm going to be honest with you. Hmm... Mind Shutter does seem okay. Hmm. I don't hate this hand. I really don't love it, though. I'll keep it because of the stupid Hypnotic Specter. That could also help. Hmm. 
Yeah, you start feeling real silly about calling it American control when you realize how many flags have red, white, and blue in their in their flag. How many countries have red, white, and blue in their flag? Main phase opt? Does Hypnotic Spectre get there? Don't condemn me, bro. Oh, no condemn? A snapper in the graveyard? This is actually why we kept this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put this on the... Actually, maybe we can just cast the Norn. <clears throat> Next time we can Seraph, and then turn after that we can just do a bunch of... We have a bunch of... Being able to cast Lush Norn here is pretty strong. It's worth keeping the planes. Interesting. Oh boy. Woodfall. Emrakul, Magister. We just throw a bunch of creatures that we're unlikely to be able to naturally cast. I guess we can cast this pretty easily, but Woodfall and Emrakul are pretty far off. Parallax Wave is interesting because it's not really a great solution to the creatures that we're presenting. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Sure. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, four, five. That's actually really good. So we can do this. Force the sacrifice. Play Seraph. And then we have Woodfall Primus in the graveyard with Dread Return in case they want to treachery something. Are they thinking of whether they want to Parallax Wave it? I mean, that makes sense. They could. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What does that do? You want to probably crack this now, right? To hit a land drop. Oh, you have a land drop. Well, in my face. We just have to wait for that. Now we can't attack with Shambling Vent, which is nice. Uh, reels their hand. Okay, let's get Sphinx's Rev. So your hand is pretty bad. Eternal Witness Forest, huh? I guess we'll just pass here. Actually, with just Eternal Witness Forest, maybe we should just got an Emrakul back. This is a water, not ginger. Wow, that's you're right. That's my bad. I 
I really wish Never Return was a sorcery, or an instant, rather. So they played a forest. So we know three of the four cards, one of the... Yep. Get back Parallax Wave. This is... That's frustrating. So we know you have two lands. Boy, Parallax Wave is frustrating. Actually, I think we I think we have to destroy the Parallax Wave right now. Uh, reason being, if they exile a bunch of our stuff, we want to get back Brain Maggot. Oh, Parallax Wave Eternal Witness is pretty scary, right? Does this do anything? Oh my god, is this like a lock? I guess it's not a lock because uh, they get the Parallax Wave back, but we can actually kill the Eternal Witness here. Yeah, no attacks here. Would you play this Ashiok? Ashiok, three mana walker, comes in with three loyalty, negative three draw a card. No, that sounds absolutely terrible. You can't get rid of Woodfall Primus because that seems pretty bad. Fantastic. Yep. Oh, look, our second white for Alesh Norn. How nice. Is this real? Like, is this real life? Like, they're... <clears throat> so we can go Packrat, discard Aleshnorn... Dread Return Aleshnorn. <laughs> I mean, Brain Maggots. This this Parallax Wave is probably going to kill us. This guy just comes back, kills something else. Yep, you got it. I'm the active player, so my creature would die first. Uh, he can kill any one of our lands, no. Oh, how nice. Vindicate off the top would be fantastic.
Let me guess, treachery? Vivian Reed. Of course, kill the brain maggot. Hmm. I actually don't care what they kill here. Them having Sphinx's Rev back in hand is pretty obnoxious. Oh, they're just going to target their own... That was interesting. Huh. I think they should draw six here. Seven? Okay, seems good. I'm going to assume you have none of, none of these lands left. Okay. White. He's a midnight reaper. What's in graveyard every day? You can dread return, get back Magister of Worth. I really want to try to make them discard the. <laughs> Midnight Reaper also draws us a bunch of cards here. Could just be Emrakul. But then, like, if they draw Treachery, it's pretty terrible. Oh, man. There's a lot of decisions here. If we sack Tube to Dread Return, we can't bring it back because we have to announce the target before we pay the costs. I'm tempted to just get Brain Maggot back, actually. It's not super impressive, but it is good. And we get to draw two cards. We go to four, but then we just die, right?
one but then they just untap they they get to go one two three four five six seven they get to draw four cards and then if they hit treachery it's just it's got to be game over after that right i almost feel like it's got to be brain maggot here uh brain maggot will sack seraph zombie choops this gives us a bunch of blockers and i think it's actually fine because if we draw a white source for leshnorn no you're gonna pack to negation it Well, that's decent, I guess. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have twelve mana, so they can more more than pay for this and cast a treachery on like a blocker. But I don't think that really matters. We just want us one of our two remaining white sources to cast a Celestion yeah no shit <laughs> obviously you got treachery is there any card that's better in our graveyard I don't think so I think Chainer's Edict and Dread Return are the only like flashback cards I would also accept a uh, I would also accept a recurring nightmare here. I would also accept a vindicate. Yep, Vindicate on Banishing Light into Woodfall Primus into... <laughs> what did they take? They took the two creatures? Sure. Do you ever play Sealed on Arena? Not really, no. I almost think we have so many bad draws here that I just want to entomb something that's shitty. They're going to get rid of Hypnotic Spectre, I presume. Oh, they're just going to get rid of the token. Sure, that makes sense. You just have another removal spell? Nope, just the guy sign trapped. Okay. Nope, now you have another, now you have another removal spell? Nope, just someone carry out it. Okay. Well, we have to block here. Oh, we should have. Oh, we should have entombed there. Just some card that we just don't want to draw here. Literally swamp. And we draw another fucking swamp. Amazing, absolutely incredible. <laughs> I can't even. All right. Well, land after land after land. All right, so yeah, what would we have drawn after that? Probably a red source or a white source, I bet. Here, here's the, here's the planes. Wretched Confluence could have been good. No, it was probably pretty bad. Actually, returning creatures to the eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, one two is not where I expected to be with this deck, but here we are, and a bunch of sweet draws from our opponents. Uh, good times from us, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Check out manatraders.com. Link is in the description to get 20% off. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off. And check out coolstuffinc.com. You can get 5% off with Frank5. All those links are in the description below. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.